Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick video on what it takes to swap out the older FTR 18 and 19 inch wheels to the new 17 inch wheels. This is my 2019 race replica. Um, I picked up a set of the 2022 FTR wheels on eBay for 300 bucks shipped. Uh, apparently the owner had swapped them out for the RSD wheels, had no use for them, and it was a pretty good score. If you buy these wheels new, they're, if memory serves, somewhere around 350 to 375 uh, per wheel. You do not have to order anything extra with them. They already have the bearings pressed into them. All of the components on your older FTR bolt up perfectly to the wheel. The rear is the simplest. All you would have to do is remove the drive sprocket on the left side and then the tone ring right here and the brake rotor on the rear, bolt them onto the new wheel, add a tire and it goes right up. The, there is absolutely no clearance issues whatsoever. You do not have to machine or make any offsetting uh, rear uh, bushings like some of that horse shit some people were trying to put out a couple of months ago. It is a straightforward bolt up uh, process. The front, however, is where things start to get a little interesting. So the 2022 wheel looks exactly the same as the 2019, but the difference is it does not have mounting points to accommodate this front tone ring. Uh, give you a, here's a better look at what a tone ring looks like. So this is a tone ring. It's just a simple piece of metal that has these slots and these slots when the wheel is spinning correspond with a sensor that's mounted down underneath your forks right here. And that sends a signal to the computer that uh, your ABS traction control and speedometer needs. So the tone ring is absolutely important. Now, when you guys were hearing about me having some problems, the only problems I was ever having is when I tried to uh, integrate the 2022 uh, setup, which inside this bearing, this tone ring is actually built into the bearing in this wheel. Um, and the, they use a new sensor. This is what the new sensor looks like. This new sensor uh, that picks up the signal coming from the, the bearing. Unfortunately, this is a lower voltage system than what's on the 2019. So unfortunately, it just doesn't um, it doesn't uh, work well with the computer. So it just doesn't uh, recognize it. So unfortunately, if you know somebody that needs a front sensor, I'll make them a hell of a deal on it. Uh, so what you have to do is mount the tone ring on there so that um, you'll get the correct signal. Now, this is a pretty straightforward process. I did it the simplest way uh, on this wheel. So all I did is I put it in a mill. I drilled out on the legs. I drilled out the corresponding bolt pattern. Uh, it's a six millimeter, millimeter by one thread, tapped it, and I had to use, I think it was a 10 or 15 millimeter longer bolt. The tone ring actually just rests on the edge of the wheel right here. Um, and it, it's been on here now for thousands of miles, never had an issue once. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'd like to do something a little cleaner in the future uh, on another wheel I'm working on. And what I'll end up doing is I will, once again, machine shop, put it in a lathe and take this edge right here of the wheel down maybe a couple thousandths and then make an aluminum collar and I'll use this roll of hockey tape to kind of explain it but I'll make an aluminum collar that would then press onto the wheel um, and then have the corresponding bolt holes and then the tone ring would just then bolt right up onto the onto that it'd be just a little bit cleaner way of doing it um, this way works fine like I said I've seen a couple other guys here in Vegas that have now done this um, and same result, no problems at all. It's important that this is done to an absolute precision because this tone ring cannot spin uh, out of round. It can't be egged or, or off by even the slightest. Otherwise, the magnetic sensor will get an uh, incorrect signal. So that's pretty much it. Oh, the, the speedometer, you will, when you, you know, think about it, converting to a 17-inch wheel, you're spinning faster but traveling a lesser distance. So the speedometer will read... Uh, between three to five miles per hour uh, faster than you're truly going. I found that uh, up to about 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour, it's about three, uh, three and a half miles per hour fast. When you get over 55, 60 miles an hour, um, all the way up to, I had this bike 119 miles an hour this past weekend, and it was exactly like 5.3 miles per hour faster than what I was truly going. So um, in the future, I might actually have my machine shop water jet me out or cut me out some of these tone rings but with less holes in them um, and and get the speedometer a little closer but once again at five miles an hour's difference it's really not that big of a deal um, but that's something i might do in the future hope this video helps you if you have any questions at all you can always send me a direct message i hope this helps